Alright, so this is another gameplay review where I show you how to play the game as well as give you my thoughts on it. Today we're looking at the Haunted Mansion played on the PlayStation 2. So I guess we can look at options real quick. Uh, controls, you can turn on and off the vibration and you can invert look, which I'm going to do. Uh, here's a quick look at the controls. Uh, hint. Huh. I don't think I ever used that. But yeah, you got your rotation of the camera. Um, R1 is like fire. And L1 is lock on. So like the camera left and camera right are actually R and L2. Yeah. Um, it'll be explained very shortly. Uh, sound, you can adjust those. Brightness, you can adjust that. And that's just this is the credits if you really want to see the credits. Anyway, let's get in, let's get into getting. Um, normal. Why not? This is for demonstration purposes, so just do normal. As a lifelong. So yeah, um, this is a story about this guy. He got an ad in a newspaper. To a, as a caretaker for the mansion and um, he shows up and it's actually the haunted mansion you know from the, uh, the Disney ride so this this the story in this game is completely original in a good way like it's not based off the the movie or anything it's just based solely off the ride on its own they just came up with their own story for it and it's the better for it. Can I skip this? I can. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. For uh... So we can get into the gameplay, you know? So the loading screens are all kinda cool. They all have the uh... Transformation... Sort of aspect to them. Where they seem normal and they turn scary. Kinda like stuff in the in the Haunted Mansion ride. I hope he's feeling better. So that's cool. Uh, I told you he'd be on his feet again um, in no time. Come the main um, companion character you have in this game is uh, the, the head in, a, in, the, in the ball. Um, so, um, this game starts out with a lot of uh, backstory and explaining. And explaining. It's kind of a kind of like just one downside to this game is there's a lot of just explaining in the beginning that that segment goes on for like probably at least five minutes and you're sitting there listening so um the basic uh actions that you take in this game is there are enemies that you can shoot enemy ghosts that appear like like that so you can press uh l1 to target you can just press r1 to shoot you press L1 to uh, lock on. So if you press L1 anywhere, it'll just lock on to an enemy. So I'm going this way. It'll turn around and lock on so I can shoot at him. And then, um, yeah, so if I hold L1, it'll just keep targeting new enemies for me. But um, if I hold L1 anywhere else, well, if there aren't enemies around, I can hold L1 to, you know, recenter the camera on me. And I'll strafe if I'm holding it. Otherwise, I'll just turn around like this. So the main objective in each room, you go through a series of rooms, and the main objective is to find like the light switch, like this right here. You can press triangle to uh, zoom in on stuff. It's kind of like an over-the-shoulder zoom in. I'm just going to skip all of her dialogue and stuff. So yeah, you hold triangle, you can do like a, a zoom in kind of thing like this. Um, so once you turn the lights on, as you see in the lower left uh, next to my lantern, there's a 15 counter. So there are um, spirits that you're supposed to capture now. So when the lights are on, you find a, oh, shriveled souls, my bad, and um, you capture them. So you find stuff that's like pulsing like this, and you inspect it with square, and the, uh, the shriveled souls will come out. Now you capture them by pressing circle and holding it. And you can uh, capture multiples at once too. If you to if you're quick, if you like tap the circle button, you can get multiples at once. 
So you just kind of like look around. Let's see. Like this is pulsating. Oh. If it's pulsating, it's just something you can interact with. But, um. Uh, it'll likely be, um. A lot of the times it'll be the, uh, the shriveled souls that you're looking for. Like this one. And as you can see, um, some other stuff popped out too. When I captured this shriveled soul, it gave me part of a death certificate. These are things that will just come up with specific souls. You uh, collect all of them and you give them to the ghost who it belongs to. And it's just like part of the story. This is a fortune card. Um, you'll find them all around. You collect 10 of them, get an extra life. So uh, extra lives work uh, pretty interesting in this game. Basically, uh, when you uh, lose all your health, or I guess it's like courage or something, your life bar in the upper left there, when that runs out, you uh, you pass out and uh, you come back with an extra life. Ooh, found a secret entrance. This is a, a doll that increases my um, bravery. Bravery, that's your health basically, is bravery. So that just increased my maximum bravery. card. Oh, here's the sword. So when you find the last one, you'll know because uh, you'll stop and, and kind of like wipe the sweat off your face. That's it. So now you can open the door to the next room. Well, actually what requires you to open most doors is a number of spirits to have. Of course, right now this first door is 15. And that's how many spirits you have to have in this room. So I'll try to um, speed things up now. But basically there's the light switch it's showing you. It's upstairs. And you'll see my As my bravery bar just decreased to mansion. like half. So whenever the lights are out, uh, your bravery is lower. And you um, you get more you get your bravery back when uh, the lights are get turned on. So that's just more motivation for you to turn the lights on. These are uh, bravery potions. If I had, if I was missing any bravery, like from my, if I got hit or something, then I'd be able to uh, grab this to restore it. As you can see, this door will need 170 spirits. So as uh, it goes with the, uh, the lore, there are 999 spirits in this mansion and uh that's the shriveled souls that we're looking for and uh it's up to us to capture them all ah, as part of we'll the see. uh the game so these clocks are save points and saving is pretty fast most of the time i guess it's just because it's my first save watch if i save again let's see if it uh if i can use it again there we go. See, that was a lot faster. So, um, something that... It took me a while to find this, but, um... Uh, if you try to climb either of these staircases, they're just gonna fall down. There's my card right there. So, uh, let's see. There's spiders here. There you go. So, you can see I got hit. So now I can get like the bravery potion and restore my my bravery. Anyway, what's hard to find here is you have to look out for crooked pictures. See, like this picture right here is crooked. If you come straighten it, of course it also pulsates if you come up next to it. For some reason I didn't notice that uh, when I first played this. It took me a while to get through this room because I couldn't find the one thing I could interact with. Anyway. This is going to take me upstairs. And then I can easily get over to the light switch. Turn on the lights. Fight some ghosts. 
turn on the lights. So turning on the lights does not uh, necessarily get rid of enemies. So enemies can even still show up after you turn on the lights. Um, but it boosts your bravery just to have the lights on. And you can't search for these guys, these shriveled souls, until you um, you turn the lights on. So the death certificate is just like a thing that comes along with some of the, the shriveled spirits. And then you'll find uh, friendly ghosts as well. Oh, there might have been one in the last room. Oh well, I can show you one in this room. Or it'll be obvious in this room at least. I really want to go through um, the next room, actually. If I can do it fast enough, you know. Alright, so that's all the shriveled souls here. So there's there's a friendly ghost. These are the guys in the mansion that you're trying to... You're trying to save the mansion from this bad guy. And uh, the friendly ghosts are those ones up there. They they, they just kind of like hang out and talk. Are my uh, controls? Oh, they are. Man. Okay. So this is the only door we can go through at this time. So later on, as you go through the game, there will be many doors you can approach and um a lot of the time it'll be like way too many for you to get through like you don't have enough spirits to go through but sometimes there'll be like multiple doors that you can go through so you can choose the order of some of the doors you go through later on in the game the first few are like you have to go through them in this order So this is another thing you inter interact with. There are several uh, uh, books in the game that are on these pedestals, and they're narrated for you. They are Tome of Shadows and uh, Atticus Thorn. That's the bad guy, basically. And these are some of his um, his thoughts. I'm not gonna uh, go through them all. I'm just going to try to get through this room as quickly as possible. Let's see here. Piano. Okay. So this is a funny room because there's these uh, books that you walk across, but they form as you approach them. Oof. I got to restart. And I miss. You know what? Maybe I'll just cut <laughs> to a, a head past this room. Or at least past this obstacle. It could take a while. So uh, I don't want to bore you with my mess ups. Alright, so here's here's the light switch. I messed up a bunch on that, that book following puzzle, so I'm glad I like cut over it. So what we got now is we're looking for those spirits again. Oops. Gotta watch out for the spiders. So this is kinda like the um the cycle you go through is you enter a room, you solve some puzzle to uh, reach the light switch and turn on the lights, and then you search the room for these ghosts oh, or other possible secrets that you may find. Okay, I, I keep calling them ghosts, but I mean they're all ghosts. These are shriveled spirits specifically. So yeah, they'll tell you when you finish the certificate 
But I mean, you pretty much have to get the death certificates that just come with the uh, shriveled spirits. So that's just like, I don't know. They make it seem like it's an extra thing you're doing, but it's really just kind of like an automatic thing. Five. They usually come in groups of five, these uh, shriveled spirits, so it's like once you get down to five, it's like you know you're looking for like, the, like, the last spot. There we go. So now we'll see some more friendly ghosts pop up. So these guys you can you can talk to, interact with, and they'll have lines to say. Guys. Guys. Something's missing. Can we get more cowbell? I agree. It all sounds better when there's more cowbell. <gasps> cowbell, yeah! More cowbell! Usually they'll have like two things to say. Cowbell. So if you interact with them twice, they'll have cowbell. two different things to say. If you interact yeah, with them again after that, they'll cowbell. just start back with their first one, you know? Agree. It all sounds better. So yeah, these guys, they're just here to hang out and be funny. They're just like interesting to talk to. Well, talk to, you You just listen to them talk about stuff mostly. Your character doesn't really talk at all. So a great thing about this game is that this just filled with references to the actual uh, ride. So it's pretty good for, for fans of the Haunted Mansion itself. And then this is also a decent game. Um, 525. Yeah, don't have that. <laughs> Looking for 50. Oh, here we go. So, well, now that we're this far, um, I'll just show up uh, just a little bit more and then we'll be done. Oh yeah, we'll get through this room and then we'll be done. Because obviously I don't want to spoil too many of the surprises in this game. I mean, it is, it is supposed to be a scary S game. I mean, it's about as scary as like Luigi's Mansion or something like that, maybe. Actually, I'd probably put a little bit more in Luigi's Mansion, but still close. Come on, start. You know, sometimes the targeting won't always target the closest thing. So, uh, you just gotta like, release and repress. This is an interesting moment where you get to uh, guide these um, pool balls into the, the holes. There's a, an unknown spirit sort of hitting the balls with the, the cue. If you stand up on the sides is what causes uh, those other spirits to pop up. I'm only going up there so I can get like the card of like, bravery potions and stuff. But just going up there will get these guys to show up. So the way this works is uh, if the things hit you, of course, it's gonna hurt. But uh, what you're mainly doing is trying to uh, guide the main cue ball to hit all these other balls into the pockets. And this could take me a little while, so I think I'll I'll show a little bit, but I'll also cut this a little short. So what's nice about uh, this part is that if you hold the target button, it'll actually point you towards the cue ball. Huh. 
when there's no enemies, of course. Oh, bounced right out. Alright, so I think I'll cut here. It's a little bit later. So you don't have to watch this whole thing. It's a good part of the game, though. I think it's uh, creative, at least. Ta-da! And there's a the light switch. Turn on the lights here, it'll just take me off the board. And then I'm tasked with finding the ghosts. Or shriveled spirits. <laughs> really use a bravery potion right now. Oh boy. There's one. So sometimes you just kind of like walk around the room pressing the uh, square button. Whoa! Yeah, so the spiders, they have like a web attack that draws you in. So uh, you're tasked with trying to dodge that and then if you get caught you want to kill them as fast as you can before you get wound in. So here's here's the first uh, friendly ghost that kind of talks to you like story-wise. Basically you show them their death certificate which you automatically got from getting all the spirits that you needed to get. I, I don't know if it's possible to meet one of these guys and not have their death certificate. I mean because there are points where you can choose which rooms you go into, so you don't necessarily have to get all the death certificate parts, unless the game is organized in a way that you will, by necessity, be getting all the um, death certificate parts before you meet this guy. So, I don't know. I haven't actually tried to do that, but it's, I don't think it's ever happened to me. So what we just got is a soul gem, and there's several of these throughout the game that you get. I think you get one from each of these death certificate ghosts. Huh. Anyway, what these do is they actually power up your lantern and uh, your attacks. Oops, I'm getting a bunch of like extra uh, spirit soul or... Shriveled spirits for, for free right there. So what happens now is I can charge it up and shoot that kind of an attack. And it's like a stun attack. Or maybe that's just the power up. Anyway, um, what happens is you'll get a few more gems and you'll get like a, a second charge level, which is like an area attack. This one's just like a stronger attack pretty much. So yeah, uh, you're, you get stronger with... Um, soul gems that you get so your attacks get stronger and then um, finding those dolls will increase your health and um, yeah finding more spirits lets you get to more rooms and you get to explore more of the mansion so yeah I think it's a pretty good game uh, overall there's lots of references to the ride like I said um, Yeah, there's lots of different puzzles to do, and um, when you're going for like the light switch and stuff. There's save point. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? These doors will sometimes have arms fly out and grab, try to grab you. Yeah, so don't try to open up the boarded doors. They they are for sure not something you can go into. So yeah, here's another room. I don't have enough for that. That's probably the room I go into next after I go into this next one. 
Oops. Oh, here, I'll just go ahead and show you what it's like to die. See, I've got eight lives, so when you die, you come right back, but it costs a life. So that's good that you don't have to, like, restart the room or anything when you die, but you do have limited lives, so, I mean, if you really suck at the game, it's... <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know if I've ever gotten a game over, but it's definitely possible. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much the game. Uh, of course, I don't want to spoil too many surprises, because, you know, one, one of the cool things about, like, a, a scary game is that it surprises you all the time. That's what, it's try that's what its goal is to do, is to surprise you all the time. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any other questions about the game, I can, you can go ahead and ask in the comments below. Um, if you have any feedback for these reviews, you can go ahead and say that as well. And then, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.